Hello, my name is Erika. I am a PhD student at University of Salamanca. Today, I am going to present my research plan, who is titled Indigenous Women in Higher Education in STEM, a case study in Oaxaca. This research plan is carried out in the real research group. The mentoring and supervision are by Alicia Garcia Olgado and Marie Cruz Sanchez Gomez. The points I had to follow with this presentation are shown with this slide. As we all know, the gender gap in STEM is a global problem and depends on several factors. For this project, we were focused on Latin American countries, especially in Oaxaca, one of the states of Mexico. Some facts to mention. 10% of the population in Mexico are indigenous. In Oaxaca, indigenous women represent more than half of the population. When we discuss about the contribution of indigenous communities and indigenous women who pursue STEM careers are often totally discriminated against. This chart shows that with a higher level of education in Oaxaca, there is a decline in the number of indigenous students. There is an essential growth of the research in STEM areas. Five communities have been identified as shown in the figure below. However, those focusing on indigenous women studying a STEM career are scarce or, in most cases, don't even mention or deepen what happens in the sector or women. The objective of this research plan is design and validate a mentoring model with gender perspectives within higher education to facilitate and encourage the participation of indigenous women in STEM. Five specific objectives are proposed. All of these focus on analyzing, designing, and implementing actions to achieve the main objective of this research. Three hypotheses are proposed. Hypothesis 1. Cultural factors, environment, and origin, ethnicity, influence the decision of students when deciding which career to study. Hypothesis 2. Family, the labor market, gender roles had a significant influence on young indigenous people in their choice of higher education. Hypothesis 3. Accompanying students can generate adequate conditions that facilitate and encourage them to continue their education in STEM careers. According to the established objectives, this research will apply an exploratory study, that is a mid quantitative qualitative model. The qualitative part we have to design the mentoring model and create a pilot test. This model will validate with the qualitative part using a phenomenological method with focus groups. The population under study will be the students at the Technological Institutes of the State of Oaxaca, who studies in a STEM program. The following outline specifies in a very general way what is desired to be obtained in the development of this work. First, the research plan is developed, providing the phases to be followed in the study. The first result corresponds to a systematic literature review. Moreover, two results are related to the quantitative and qualitative studies. Finally, we will implement the mentoring model. All this work will help to design and validate a mentoring model with gender perspectives within the context of higher education to facilitate and encourage the participation of indigenous women in STEM careers in the state of Oaxaca. The development of this research may entail a series of difficulties related to getting to choose higher education institutions involved in the project, obtain support to implement a mentoring model in all the selected institutions, and development of the interviews in the focus groups in person. Thank you so much.